So let's go across the road and we'll go into the uh, Sydney Domain at the Botanical Gardens. Straight away when you get in the gardens you've got all these beautiful plants and we have got a sign there showing us where to go. Look at the trees here. They are spectacular. They must be years and years old. Look how thick the uh, trunks actually are. The trees are just massive. Like I say, just look at the trees. The uh, trunk on that is just out of this world. It's massive. The roots must spread for uh, miles and look how tall it is. We will have a walk now uh, down the domain where you will get some absolute spectacular uh, shots of Sydney City. Daryl is just setting his self-flying drone up there and that is going to uh, video him and uh, follow him. Like I say, Daryl's got his drone. His drone is following him and it must be taking some ex spectacular video footage as it uh, follows him round here in the uh, domain at the uh, Royal Botanical Gardens in Sydney. So it does look now like the weather is uh, clearing up. We have got some blue sky coming after a, a bit of rain this morning. We've got here another absolutely massive, massive tree. And it must be, must be 10 foot thick there at the uh, bottom. It's amazing and they're all, they're all the same. They're all absolutely uh, massive and as I said we do get some views of the city so as we keep seeing that I will stop and uh, show you. So I'm just uh, filming there now and Daryl again has got his drone, I think he's on what you call dolly track and don't know whether you can see it there but it is uh, following us and videoing us and it's going to land in uh, Daryl's hand. So here we have got an absolute beautiful view of Sydney and I can see the tower and the tower now is in blue sky which is amazing because we did want to go up there today but just as we were going to go up the uh, rain actually started and it wouldn't have been worth it because you wouldn't have uh, seen a great deal from the tower so we have postponed that hopefully we will bring that for you but if not we'll have to wait probably another year and get you that next year it all depends on uh, time so we're still heading through the domain we're going to go to the uh, right here and up past this uh, beautiful cafe. We've got a statue there in the trees. Let's take a look at that for you. Over that way we've got the art gallery of New South Wales. Again it's in that beautiful stone and look at all these spectacular bush life and small palms and everything we've got uh, here. They do look absolutely beautiful the uh, little cafe. There is people normally sitting out around here but for some reason there's no tables here today. It looks like they've moved them all inside. Probably again because of the rain. Look at all this plant life. Very uh, Australian. So years and years ago when uh, Mum and Daryl were here, probably before 
2000, they did see the Queenie at the art gallery. We've got some spectacular rock formation here. It's well worth uh, having a look at. And we are coming now to the section where uh, the water is really on the pathway. And I've just seen this tree. I've no idea what it is. But look at all the unusual uh, well I don't know what they are but if anybody can tell me let me know in the comments so let's continue with the walk to uh, Mrs McQuarrie's chair which uh, is probably about another 10 minutes walk down along this uh, beautiful path So Daryl's just found another rock formation and again it is amazing, it's very very white, I don't know what that rock actually is but look at the uh, detail and the shapes in it, it uh, does look absolutely fantastic and we've got more of it there as we uh, look up the hillside. I uh, do always love it here as well where the uh, harbour beats up against these uh, rocks. I just nearly got absolutely drowned then. I uh, did have to move quite quickly. You see that? This is what I really do like just to look at these uh, rocks here with the water splashing around them. The, do look amazing and Daryl's just standing there he's uh, checking them out as well behind us where we've come from uh, that's where we just had the pipe which I did really really enjoy so let's turn around and let's head towards Mrs Macquarie's chair and have a look at that and that's where you do actually get an absolute wonderful wonderful view as you go around the corner of the uh, Sydney Armour Bridge and the Sydney Opera House. So I'm so excited to uh, look at that. The camera running as we go along this section. As I say, I uh, do think it does look absolutely amazing. It's a shame about the uh, stormy clouds today, but normally when you walk along here, you've got beautiful blue skies and that does make the video I think even more spectacular but never mind we are here in Sydney and it is still beautiful so we've got more of these rocks where the water is uh, beating round them look how clear the water actually is though it's so uh, clear you can see down it's beautiful the rocks do look, I think, probably a little bit volcanic as well, with uh, all the different holes in, or I don't know whether that's just the water beating round it that uh, has made them holes. If anybody can answer me that again, let me know. Drop me a comment. So we are coming to the end of where the water is low down to the path, and we are going to go up this path, up this slope and as we get up the slope that's where we will see uh, the uh, Macquarie's chair let's go uh, take a look for you so there you go this is Macquarie's chair so here at one time it used to be absolutely full of uh, Japanese tourists but uh, you don't seem to get as many now here for some reason. Don't know why. Yeah, they've had to put that pole up there to hold the rock up. So yeah, we've finally made it here. And if we do turn now to the uh, right, we will see the Sydney Arbour Bridge and there you go 
So we're looking out into the uh, bay, or the harbour as they call it. Got some beautiful trees and we'll just go down this bank and as we uh, go down the bank you will see the beautiful Sydney Opera House and the uh, beautiful Harbour Bridge which you can see now just behind this uh, tree there we go there's the uh, bridge and we've got the water beating on the rocks and we've got somebody there taking a picture what a view that is on that picture for them and again there's that uh, picture I was telling you about with the beautiful view of Sydney Arbour Bridge and Sydney Opera House again this is a place where you could just come and chill out here for hours and hours and hours it is beautiful and you've got all the water beating on the rocks there which I think uh, does make the picture even more spectacular so yeah drop me a comment and tell me what you think of the view from here of the uh, opera house and the bridge and if we just move to the left a little bit there we have got the uh, city so you can see the city the opera house and the sydney arbor bridge we've got a lady there looks like a japanese lady with a umbrella sheltering her from the sun and she's got a japanese dress on so let's carry on down a bit more so as i say we can see the opera house and the uh, bridge and then as we uh, turn the corner here we can uh, see the amazing city and Daryl's just sitting on the wall there we will carry on now and we'll just look at the rock formation here <coughs> and somebody's carved some like steps into it it does look absolutely amazing again look at all the rock hanging over me there I wonder how it uh, actually stops up there and if we look there we've got City of Sydney and we've got the Opera House and the uh, Harbour Bridge it's such a shame because we did normally there is a seat here we did normally sit down on that seat and chill and just watch the world go by but they have because of the show they've got on completely uh, blocked it off the seat we normally sat on and like Daryl says it must be a good while since we actually sat there so we're coming to this area here and this is where they do every summer close it uh, all off and they have an open air opera on uh, Sydney Harbour and in front of us that's where we've uh, got the stage so we will check that out as we get further on down there I've got a good view there of uh, the city that does look absolutely beautiful it's quite cloudy today but not spoiling it it still looks uh, really really good we've got all the seats here where you can buy a drink and just come sit by the uh, harbour wall and we've got the big cafe there they spread our hot dishes salads desserts small bites they've uh, got everything and look at the size of the stage here it's quite big i've uh, not seen it this big and it does look like we've got the cast here and they are probably rehearsing and practicing and here's all the sitting area where everybody sits so we've just been told off for filming by the uh, opera place in Sydney here it was the cast like I said and the security guard did say 
we're not allowed to film them but I think we uh, did get a little bit so that was better than nothing so we are in now the uh, botanical gardens and uh, I do love this area you've got all this lovely uh, grassland and all the beautiful trees and you have got all the uh, sight of the uh, city in front of you so yeah beautiful and you've got this beautiful sea wall holding the uh, harbour back look at this tree look at the leaves on that they do look absolutely amazing and so unusual a lot of people walking through here enjoying the spectacular view that they've all got they're sitting on chairs and seats and just generally enjoying themselves and I'm just admiring this amazing view of Sydney City so we are going to go left on this pathway and head a little bit deeper into the uh, botanical gardens for you and there is an amazing tree just down here which I will show you in a minute as we get there it must be hundreds of years old look at the city there with all this beautiful grassland all the birds sitting on the grass and the city in between the trees here is this absolutely amazing tree they have fenced it off so you can't go and touch it but just look at it it's uh, amazing look how wide it is at the bottom wonder how old that tree is if anybody can answer me that please do drop me a comment and let me know so I have just filled me drinking bottle up at that uh, fountain there and we've got there all the spectacular palms and everything like that they do look absolutely amazing and there's the uh, big tree again I was showing you. Let's take a walk into the Britannical Gardens and look at some of these absolute spectacular plants that they've got in here. Look at the colours of them. The, uh, they look absolutely fantastic. I have seen there a spider. Let's just see if we can zoom in and see him can you see him there don't know whether you can so we'll carry on in a little bit more and look here at the uh, cockatoos they're just sitting there chilling under that uh, bush you're not too bothered as Daryl walks past them either he will let you get quite close he has got something in his mouth and he uh, he is eating it and he's that one there is digging into the soil so again just look how beautiful the plant life here does actually uh, look so if you are coming to Sydney this is an area really which I do strongly recommend you come have a look at going back a few years they did have a lot of bats in the botanical gardens but they have got rid of them because they did say it was bad so as you're going through some of these trees which we'll be going through in a minute the actual noise from the bats was horrendous but uh, they have got rid of them all now and we've got here the wishing tree so you can make a wish and walk around this tree I'll uh, show you the bounties board of it in a second Where? there's your notice and that does tell you about the uh, wishing tree so you've got these beautiful grass areas and look at that particular plant there don't know what it is again but it does look absolutely stunning 
and we've got another pathway there leading into the gardens and let's go check these out what are these they're very unusual again so I'm not sure what they are but if anybody can let me know let me know and we've got some beautiful palms again there so Daryl's just walked around the wishing tree and that is the wishing tree let's just uh, have a look up there to it yeah I've cordoned this area off because there's some absolutely massive seed pods dropping off and look at the size of that then there and that one there these uh, beautiful arches here and this is the tree where them uh, massive pods are dropping off I wouldn't like one of them dropping at me on the end so down here these are the trees that I was uh, telling you about earlier on where all the bats were uh, that was going back a while and they've got rid of them all now so down here there was a lot of bat mess and the actual noise they were making was uh, horrendous what I haven't seen yet is uh, a lot of spiders it must be the wrong time of the year because we were here sort of the same time last year and again there wasn't many then but we have been where there was spiders absolutely everywhere and look at this tree I don't know what them are on it but they are magnificent and that flower that looks uh, amazing as well again no idea what they are so if anybody can tell me drop a comment to me and tell me what I'm looking at look at the branches on that tree there now oh, they've just dropped and they're like ropes it's absolutely beautiful through here it's so peaceful and we've got another unusual one there like a stalk going through a shield looks like a snake's head and the foliage is just phenomenal again I uh, am looking but I can't see any spiders to show you so that's a real shame got a guy coming here on his uh, machine he's obviously going to go cut the grass somewhere and look at the size of the leaves here on uh, this particular plant amazing here there's like a little stream running through the botanical gardens with a small waterfall so that does look really really good again we're just coming now up to the visitor center never been in there I would imagine if you did it just tells you a little bit about what's going on here and there's like a place there where you can go dining but that's pretty spectacular as well and the I've got tables outside beautiful area we've got a garden shop there as well again look at the uh, size of these leaves here they're absolutely massive amazing so let's carry on this walk through the uh, botanical gardens here in uh, Sydney and see what else we can see and we have got again some more very unusual flowers down there we have got quite a few people they must have bought the dinners and they're sitting out there eating it from the uh, restaurant I did show you as we were coming up on this lovely grassland again 
and we've got a beard that Steve always used to call Butch. He's uh, just uh, chilling and walking along the grass there. There is at the end of here a big uh, bamboo tree which we'll have a look at as we uh, go past it in a second. So again we've got some wonderful plant life here and different trees and look at how thick that uh, tree is. It's unbelievable, it's absolutely spectacular. I'm so impressed with the botanical gardens, I think I'm definitely going to have to uh, come and have a, another walk through here. And as I turn the camera, we've again got the uh, beautiful city of uh, Sydney hiding in between the trees. As we walk along here at the end on the right hand side, we've got a big bamboo tree. That's quite spectacular. I'll show you that as we uh, go past in a moment. Amazing how bamboo actually uh, grows like it does. I'm just looking again in all these trees and like I've said it must be the time of the year I haven't really seen a lot of spiders I've uh, probably only seen that one which I don't know whether I could get close enough for you to uh, see but I have been through this area and there's been spiders absolutely everywhere and check this bamboo tree out it's very very thick and there's loads and loads of uh, bamboo shoots and I've just said I haven't seen many spiders then I've just spotted one the bamboo really really strong solid wood so the spider is somewhere somewhere there he, he did just move so uh, yeah we'll carry on walking through here now We've got like a uh, little garden path area there. Let's uh, take a walk down there. That tree, they've got like plant baskets. Take a look at that, check that out. And we're coming now to like a pool, like a pond. And check these uh, lions out here. Look how nice it looks here by this uh, little lake. We've got more bamboo. Look how thick the bamboo is there. It's just absolutely incredible. It's uh, so big, so thick, and I bet you that is so strong. Okay, and people have uh, actually wrote on it as well. Let's see if we can zoom in and you can see what it says. Another new bamboo. Bamboo must be a really, really old tree. Look, uh, look how thick that is when I uh, put my hand on it there. So we'll walk across the grass here and get back onto the uh, main path, and then we will walk to the uh, opera house and show you that. But let's let's just have a look again here and have another look at the city which is all towering up there behind the trees and it's looking brilliant skies are coming bluer now as well which uh, I think makes me film look even better look at the big trees again here the absolutely massive really really thick roots in this area you get a lot of cockatoos as well but uh, at the moment we haven't got any here, they were all up that other area. I think the sky is clearing everywhere again. Here we've got a lot more blue sky coming. Go again, look at, uh, look at the size of this tree. And the one in the middle there and the one to the right. It is just absolutely huge. The branches that just hang over on this one here they must weigh tons and tons and tons back now to the main pathway and we'll keep following that 
pathway till we get to the opera house. So I'm walking along this uh, pathway now at the side of the uh, harbour and the sun is just absolutely beating down on me and I just feel so hot. Tell we've had rain we still have got quite a few puddles about that uh, haven't dried up but saying why well, it was raining this morning it has turned into an absolute beautiful day. This does look like the palm tree I've got in my garden so I'm hoping mine will grow bigger like that but obviously uh, we don't get the weather like they get here so it's just taking a long time to uh, grow at my house. spectacular it uh, looks as I uh, look across the bay I think the cloud formation as well makes it uh, look even more amazing so as we head round this corner now you can see the beautiful opera house and what a, a view you get into that it looks uh, spectacular Further towards the Opera House you can now see all the uh, sails on there and you can see the Sydney Harbour Bridge behind it. Oh, what a view, isn't that? that is an absolute spectacular view, it's worth uh, every penny to come and see a view like that. The sparkle in the water here as well uh, as we get closer to the opera house there's not that many people going up the steps there was more last night but I suppose that could be the same tonight there might be more people when we get back later tonight so we are coming now to the end of the uh, botanical gardens and we can go in front of the steps of the Opera House. Apparently a train that uh, runs through here, but I haven't seen that or seen any advertisement for it. So I don't know whether that's finished because it's autumn. And here we go. What a view. The uh, Opera House with the uh, cloud and the blue sky looks absolutely out of this world let's keep the camera running a little bit and we'll just have a look how many people there are about and what they're actually doing so there is people sitting on the steps chilling out and enjoying Sydney We've got another absolute massive cruise ship in. I don't uh, think it's as big as the one yesterday, but uh, let's concentrate more on this, which is one of the most famous landmarks probably in the world, the Sydney Opera House. 